and I know everybody is so worried about what's going on for the next year. Today I'm going to be giving my predictions along with what's going on with the economy and I know everybody is so devastated by that but I do want you to take heart because I think I told you last time, whether you believe it or not, that um, we are going to recover a great deal in this summer. Uh, we're not going to recover totally, but we're certainly going to see a great amount of <sighs> exhaling. Okay, I'm going to get to my predictions now. And the first one, of course, is economy and politics. I don't know if some of you remember, but I did say Obama was going to win. And I think the smart thing about Obama is that not only is he smart, but he surrounded himself with very, very smart people. And that's what a smart person does. They surround themselves with smart financial people. And I said the economy rebounds. And you'll see it around May. Um, interest rates will fall. And you see, I did these in September. So you'll say, well, of course they did. But we do have them documented and notarized in September. We will find more resources in gas and oil, not only in Alaska, but in Texas and Arkansas as well. And I think what we're going to see is we're going to start using more of our own resources than we ever had before. Because let's face it, America, especially Alaska, has everything we need. Oil prices begin to fall. Well, you see, they already did. And nobody believed that in um, September. Um, and then more, even more drastically by spring. We will see more regulations concerning Wall Street and loan and stock companies. Thank God, because I don't know about you, but these CEOs that are giving six, given $65 million packets, um, I think it's just wrong. They could get us out of the national debt. Um, new loan companies spring up that are government regulated. We're going to be financially taxed, but not severely because more jobs become available with better benefits towards the mid part of the year. It's almost like, well, not exactly, but something like what Roosevelt did, and some of you are not old enough, but I am, in um, his benefit program. Um, and we're going to see people, you know, working on railroads and more people getting to work on new types of cars. Uh, the war in Iraq will gradually end with troops coming home gradually in December of next year. And another large group in the spring of the following year. And then in the fall, it will be over. So that will take us into what? 2010, probably. Okay, the IRS and banks loosen their financial hold on people and help people more with compromise and loans. And they already have, and that's what I was saying to you. I did this in September before it ever happened. The majority of banks are safe, so we shouldn't panic. You know, everybody, because you don't want to have a run on banks, because then we will be in a depression. Um, whatever um, party gets into the White House, and I said the Democrats, pulls us out of this economic slump. Okay, now let's go to weather. As I predicted last year, we will again see um, tsunamis and earthquakes occurring in the Far East. And I think this is nothing more than the warming trend. I think we're going to see, and I don't want to be dire because, you know, I always like to be positive, but I think we're going to see terrible weather all over the Midwest, Florida, the islands. Um, as in 2008, the coastal regions of the United States will again be hit by multiple hurricanes, and there will be small earthquakes on the California coast. Well, I don't know how many of you are here, but we've had those. We had some right around Modesto and places like that, but nothing that's, you know, that um, drastic. And I don't know why people worry about that. I had a woman on the phone who was so terrified of earthquakes. She left California and went to Kansas and got hit by a tornado. So it does, does 